and welcome to another video from me Mr Arnold in this video we're going to look at simplifying a ratio so we're going to be able to cancel ratios down into their simplest form now this is exactly like cancelling down a fraction it's the exact same idea so let's have a look at the first one we have 30 to 36 and I need to cancel this down so that it's in its simplest form so I have to ask myself a question what is the biggest number that I can divide into 30 and 36? And with a little bit of thought, we should figure out that, well, 6 will divide into 30 and 6 will divide into 36. So I'm going to divide both, ratio, both sides of the ratio by 6. And 30, 30 divided by 6 gives me 5. And 36 divided by 6 gives me 6. So this ratio, cancelled in, cancelled down to its simplest form, is 5 to 6. And that's all there is to it. Now, let's have a look at the second one here. We have 20 to 16. Now i got to think, what is the biggest number I can divide into 20 and divide into 16? So what is the highest common factor of 20 and 16? Well, the biggest number that I can think of that divides into 20 and 16 is 4. So I'm going to divide both sides of the ratio by 4. 20 divided by 4 gives me 5. And 16 divided by 4 is 4. So this ratio, in its, or this ratio in its simplest form is 5 to 4. Let's have a look at the third one. I'm actually going to do this one in two stages, just in case you can't think of the biggest number. So if I have a ratio such as this, 64 and 40, and I can't think of the biggest number that divides into both, well, it doesn't matter. We can just do it in a few steps. Well, looking at both numbers, well, they're both even numbers, which means I can definitely divide them both by 2 or half them. So let's, let's do that first. I'm going to divide them both by 2, and I get 32 to 20. Oh, but look at what we have here now. Again, I still have two even numbers. 32 and 20, I can half them both as well, and I get 16 to 10. Oh, but they're still even, so I can half them again, and we get 8 to 5. So we don't have to do it in one, one step all the time. We can cancel it down gradually and get to our final answer. Now I know that the biggest number that divides both into 8 and 5 is actually 1, so I cannot go any further. But what exactly have I divided by? I've actually divided, to get from here to here, I've divided by 8. So if I didn't figure out that 8 was the highest common factor, not a problem. We can just cancel it down one step at a time, and we should still get to our final answer in the end. So don't worry if you can't do it in one go. Let's have a look at the next one. 35 to 40. What is the biggest number I can divide into 35 and 40? Well, again, with a little bit of thought, I know that... 5 divides into both of them. So I'm going to divide both sides by 5. 35 divided by 5 gives me 7. And 40 divided by 5 gives me 8. And that's it in its simplest form. Now, I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to do the rest of the questions. I'm going to give you an opportunity to do the questions. So pause the video now and have a look at the following 6 questions and see if you can work them out. Uh, I will bring up the solutions in a second. So pause the video, try out the question, see how you get on, and I will bring up the solutions. Right, well, hopefully you've had a go at those questions, and with a bit of luck, um, you would have got them correct. So here are the solutions here, and see how you got on with them. Okay, guys. That's it from me for this video and um, see you again sometime.